Hi, my name is Pete Matheson and welcome to the channel where we are on a mission today to protect you, your partners, kids, friends and families, all of you with your online digital information. It is the modern equivalent of check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm bad for your health. If you are like me, you are putting an ungodly amount of trust in the online system right now. Bank accounts, investment accounts, pensions, Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Amazon, social media. There is just so much of our digital lives sat online. The YubiKey is one answer to solving these problems because, well, it basically works like a physical key for entering your house. However, instead of your physical house, we're locking your digital house, you know, which is your computer, your laptop, phone, or, or perhaps just your password manager. So first up, what is a YubiKey? Well, it stands for ubiquitous key, basically a fancy word for one key to rule them all. And it is meant to be one security key also protected by a pin number that will grant you access to computers, phones, networks, and online services with a simple touch. It is designed to be secure, but also usable because the challenge with online security today is that it, it gets so complicated. Now the YubiKey is something which you keep with you like a front door key to your house and you use it each time you need to log into your computer or sign into an app or, or something that holds a lot of sensitive information like a password manager. And these things typically cost between say 35 or 60 pounds each, which is about what, 50 to $80. Now, how you use these depends on which one you have. So let's take a quick look at each of these keys and the differences between them. Now, firstly, we have the 5 Nano, which is a straight USB connection, and then the 5C Nano, which is the smaller USB-C type. And these are basically absolutely well, tiny devices, as you can see, which are designed to really be left in your device at all times. So if, like me, you have a desktop PC or a Mac that's not a laptop, which is permanently sat there in your house, these are probably the keys that you'll be looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Now, for portable laptops, you'll likely want one of these two keys, which again come in USB or USB-C. And these are the YubiKey 5 NFC and the YubiKey 5C NFC. And these are probably the most common. And, and yes, they do also have NFC built into them. So if you are using a device that supports NFC, say like a mobile phone, then these are what you're looking for. Just carry them around with you on your keychain, then just pop them in whenever you need to authenticate. And then lastly, there is this weirdly oddly shaped uh, device, which again, you can keep on your keychain. And this is the YubiKey 5CI. It has no NFC, but does have two different connectors, both a, a lightning port as well as a USB-C. So that will basically work with an iPhone and then a USB-C MacBook. Now there is also one final key, which is much cheaper around about 20 pounds or, or $30. And that is the security key NFC by Yubico. And I don't have any of these personally, as you can see, or rather not see, but these are more affordable versions if all you want to do is secure some specific online services such as your password manager or your Google or your Microsoft accounts. Though a note here that LastPass doesn't work with these cheaper keys. And side note, and for that reason and many more on why you shouldn't be using LastPass, then do check out this video. But if you are wanting to spend money on something that you know will work, then don't get those cheaper keys, pay up and get the newer version five keys as they do support just so many use cases uh, than the other ones do. Now those are all the different keys, but you're probably wondering and maybe now a little confused on what to do. Because if you're anything like me, then you might have a desktop PC, which has like all the types of USB, a laptop that has only USB-C, and then a phone, which is currently lightning because well, Apple, and so I can't have one key that fits all of my needs. I kind of need like all of these. And actually having one key isn't really a great place to be because that would be like having one front door key for your house or one key for your car. You wouldn't just have one, you'd have a spare key just in case you lost one. So all you need to do is get whichever keys you need and then just add those into the various accounts of the things that you want to protect. Cheers.